turning off the 4K and playing. This is what the Phantom sounds like. It's connected to the interface, so it does have signal flow. So there is a slight difference because of the signal flow, but I mean, 4K. Really? No 4K. So it's not like Akai is the only one here. Still though, there is this overall beefiness in the Sonics. It's just heavy on the low end. This is just the difference within the Phantom and the stuff here. So like, you know, what we're talking about here, you know, uh, I have this microphone actually hooked into the Phantom's interface. So when I turn off the 4K, even if I didn't have it hooked into the Phantom's interface, you could tell a difference in that. My voice is heavy on the low end. I don't have an equalizer into my thing just because it would equalize everything else and I have it hooked into the Phantom so uh, I don't want to go through the extra headache of it but obviously over here with the way that my voice is there's a huge difference between the two as you could hear me turn it off and turn it back on. Let's see, I don't need this. I'm choosing it. Look at it. That's after the regular sound of the Phantom the uh, SSL 4K legacy transformers inside the uh, interface. And now on top of all that, I know plugins are plugins and they're not hardware. It's like I said in my video, there's so many ways that you could go about doing this. And that's just the default setting on here. I can still like, <laughs> just added some brightness to it, okay. <laughs> it's just a little bit, just a little bit of splash of something over here, you know, nothing much here. Let's take yeah, out the money. Let's put the EQ on this side. Sucking 